What's up everyone? Uh, welcome back for another video. Thanks for joining me and all that good stuff. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and let's uh, get along with this little body kit installation. So, last video, did the rear over fenders. Well, did one of them. Off camera did the other one. So I added a 15 millimeter spacer to the wheel. So as you can see, the wheel fitment is basically flush. Not too bad. Let me show you the other side. Um, one thing I gotta look into is not as much space here. More space on the other side. More space there. Obviously, the height of my coilovers couldn't be different because they're adjustable and most likely you could mess them up. It's very easy to mess them up. Or the other thing is my driveway isn't level, which is also quite possible. So, gonna leave that one for now. Not gonna mess with it too much. I did raise it. Um, a couple turns. I don't even know if I did a full turn on the coilover just to give it like a little bit extra space. So There's that fitment for the wheel wells. I got that And that's touching solid solid. I did I actually welded a nut onto the fender here So that is threaded through over here I tried to and completely messed it up So it's a nut on the back side of it and there's just like a little Spacer there for now, which is just a thick washer, which I think it came off my exhaust manifold for this car, but um, the stock one, the stock exhaust manifold for this car, but um, it's gonna do for now because I'm gonna wind up taking these on and off probably a few times. Gotta fix that. Uh, now as you see the rear bumper is just kind of like placed on there. Um, I do have to take the rear bash bar off to get a decent fit, but I'm really gonna, I'm probably only gonna mess with this for like an hour or so today before I have to leave for work. I already removed the battery because the battery is in that corner and the rear bash bar mounts in there. So, took that out, gonna remove the bash bar and then get a better fit with this bumper. If you're interested in the bash bar, I think I do have a uh, discount code. It should be in the description. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but this is the Car Modify Wonder glare kit. It's 30 millimeter wider. Um, you can't get a 50, but um, grab some like random hardware, see what stuff fits here. That one's good. I'm not sure if that's going to be long enough though. All right, I got some hardware. Just going to try to rest this in and maybe get, uh, there's, there's two on each side here to bolt it in. And then I do have some clips for the top, the top section here, but I don't know if that's going to line up. So Let's just get this in. You see those holes, right? Um, I don't know if I could point that out right there and like there. That's where I'm going to bolt these in. So it looks like uh, this is an issue on both sides. Might have to chop a little bit. Made a mark on both sides. Just going to chop that off. It doesn't look like there's any, it doesn't feel like there's anything on the other side of that gonna chop it because there's already holes drilled in the body and I'm probably gonna wind up cutting a little bit of the fender off anyway so let's chop it and get it finished. So, let's take a look at this. It's from the front side. Oh, boom, that looks sick. Now, um, probably just gonna have to make another mount right there to hold that in. Um, I don't think the bottom needs anything. I mean, other than maybe some sort of support I could figure out. Same for this side. Just hold it in more. Same with the support there, but that, that's looking pretty, pretty sick. Now, um, one thing I do want, the bash bar had uh, the toe point. I kind of want to get that out the bumper with the I thought that'd be cool if that was like hanging like there. And then, 
then I need to fix the exhaust. Did you see these spots? Um, it's a little off. So I could redrill these, or I could drill into the piece that's on the car, so I don't have to drill new holes on here. On here, um, and then I have clips. And this whole box of fresh clips. So before we get to like my uh, BS glamour shots, I'll show you a couple things that need to get done, other than the clips. Well, that we just spoke about the clips on the back top of the bumper there just needs one on each in each wheel well maybe I'll think of another mount but just need a mount down here it looks like there's actually a divot in here like they want you to drill it there so figure out something there get that nice and tight um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna figure out something for down here there's not really anything to mount to unless I gotta make a new mount same on this side but this side um, and then hold it into the car a little bit more, but it's not going to be an issue, it's going to be the same deal like um, not sitting in the center I'm gonna have to figure out something to move it over maybe if I even cut and rebend the arms not sure how much play is in it uh, but, um, might hit might wind up hitting the differential if I move it too much so All right, I'm gonna end it there. We're gonna leave the bumper um, half mounted, probably about 50% mounted. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with all the small little details. I'll show you when it's, um, I'll show you, give you a little update on it when it's all finalized. Really excited to get the rest of this kit on now because uh, rear bumper and over fenders look awesome. I have the front fenders, front bumper, and side skirts. Front bumper and front fenders. I need a new, I need a, a kooky hood for, because I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in this video, but I mentioned it in one of the other ones. I'm doing the kooky conversion right now. Got a Zenki, 1996, it's a Zenki, um, upgrading to the kooky. Well, for some people, for me it's an upgrade. Some people don't see that as an upgrade, but I'm upgrading it to a, a kooky front end. So with that, you need a new hood, new headlights, turn signals, all that good stuff. So I won't be able to put the fenders the, I won't be able to put the front fenders on or the front bumper until I get all that stuff. So, um, might just run with the back half of the car for now. Side skirts I could put on, but kind of need the front fenders on for that to be 100%. So, it might look weird without them. So, I might leave them off for now. Not too sure yet, but looking awesome. I hope you're enjoying this, this uh, build, I guess, more of a build. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We might be doing 190E content next. Uh, might maybe we'll fit the wing let next because that seems like another easy one Maybe the other side skirt. I didn't film the side skirt on this one because I wasn't too sure I can film the other side skirt Whatever I'm rambling now. Thanks for joining me. This thing looks awesome. Hope you're enjoying it. Peace out JDM stuff and peace